Today we are going to practice graphing a system of inequalities on the Cartesian coordinate plane. We are going to graph these two inequalities here. So let's start with the inequality. y is greater than 3x plus 1. The first thing we do to graph this inequality is to take a look at where this line is going to cross the y-axis, which is at positive 1. So we find positive 1 on our y-axis, and we make a point at that location because we know that the line is going to pass through that y-intercept. The next thing we do is to look at the slope, and the slope of this inequality is 3. Now, because it's a whole number, we have to put 1 as a denominator so we can look at the slope as a ratio or the rise over the run. We would say that from this point, the line is going to rise 1, 2, 3 units, and it's going to go over 1. Once you have went up 3 and over 1, simply place a point at that location. Now that we have two points, you would take a ruler, line up those two points, and make a dotted line passing through those two points. Now the reason we make a dotted line is because the sign says it is greater than. If it's a greater than or a less than symbol, we have to make a dotted line because it, the values actually do not include any points on the line. The points are going to be located to one side or the other. So once you make a dotted line, we are going to graph our second inequality, which is y is less than 1 half x minus 3. And where it crosses the y-axis is at negative 3. So let's find negative 3 on the y-axis, which is negative 1, 2, 3 right here. And from this point, we just have to read the slope and then make another point at that location. And our slope is a rise of 1 and a run of 2. So we go up 1 and over 1, 2, and then we make a point. And once we have two points of that line, we can take a ruler or a straight edge, connect those two points, and once again, we have to make a dotted line. Now, if the symbol was greater than or equal to, then we would put a solid line. But because it's a less than symbol, we put a dotted line. Okay. I'll extend this a bit further. And I'm going to take this and extend that even further. All right. Once we have our two inequalities graphed, we actually have to shade what part of the, um, what part of the graph would actually work for that specific inequality. What I mean by that is, if I could take any point on this coordinate plane and then plug in the x and y value, it would have to be a true statement. If it was a false statement, then I would have incorrectly shaded my system of inequality. So let's take a look. The first inequality says y is greater than. So let's just go to this first line that we graphed, find the y-intercept, and figure out where is y greater than this point. Well, y is greater going up. Therefore, we have to shade everything above this line, which would actually be in this area. And we're just going to keep shading. And for this inequality here, we're going to find our y-intercept, which was negative 3. And it says y is less than. And y is less than at this point below. So we're going to shade everything below this line. We can plug any point we want to on this side of our inequality to make it a true statement. However, take a look. There's only one area where the shaded part intersected, which is right here. And we would say that any point found in this area can be used for both equations. So if I took a point at this location and plugged it in for our x and y here, it would be a true statement, as well as plugging it in for this inequality here. However, a point found in this shaded area, maybe right here, would only satisfy this inequality, and the shaded area here would satisfy only this inequality. But for the system, this area here would satisf satisfy both inequalities. And that's basically how you find or graph a system of inequalities.